Hey folks, how are you doing today? It's Joe Hafner with Hafner Real Estate and we are doing some real estate Q&A today and actually just forgive me for one second here. I am trying to figure out how to get this where this shares, um, where I can share this on my personal page at the same time, the business page, but not working. So we'll try that again later. Anyway, so we're going to talk about today. Our question today is going to be, what does it cost to hire a realtor? Um, and that is a really good question. And it's one that I get all the time. So, uh, before we start though, the reason that I do this, I want to take the almost 25 years experience I have in the real estate industry, being involved in literally thousands of transactions. And I want to share some info that will help people like you to become a better educated consumer. So you can make smarter real estate decisions. And so you can achieve your real estate goals. The only way we can achieve those goals is to learn what we need to know because you don't know what you don't know. Right? So we want to learn what we need to know so that you can make better decisions when it comes to making decisions about buying a house, selling a house, getting a loan, uh, refinancing your house, buying investment property, flipping a house, all these things. I want people to make, better decisions so that they can achieve their real estate goals and be in a better place in their lives. Real estate, in my opinion, is the single best investment you can make. And what's great about it is you can buy a house and as that house appreciates in value, as long as you're paying your mortgage and you have a mortgage that, that actually pays down what you owe, you are increasing your wealth every month that you make that mortgage payment. So, uh, real estate is a great tool to build wealth just by owning a house. You're got to live somewhere anyway, might as well own a house and pay some money. So that instead of paying that rent, pay that mortgage so that you can own that house and be building wealth every month as you pay the mortgage. So I'm asking you to do me a favor, uh, show you care, give us a share, share this with someone else who you know would benefit from learning the things that we're teaching here. Also, um, tag someone in the comments. If you have other questions, private message me or put them in the comments and I will come back around. And I will answer those questions later. But today we are talking about this. What does it cost to hire a realtor? And that's a question that I get all the time. I was just with a buyer the other day and we did when I work with a buyer, especially a first time home buyer, I like to sit down before we go look at houses and do, uh, just kind of a, a, a meeting where we go over the whole process of buying a house, right? I want to go step by step. What does it take to buy a house? What do you need to know? How do you prepare yourself? Where do you go to get your loan? What are the, the steps you take to figure out whether or not it's the right house? How do you make an offer? How do you get to the closing table? All those things. And it can take anywhere from a half an hour to an hour and a half, depending on the number of questions someone has. But, when we were done going through that consultation, the buyers turned to me and said, well, what do I owe you for this? And here's the great part. When you're buying a house, having a realtor to guide you, to help you make decisions, to help you um, understand the things that you don't know and to kind of lead you down the path to having a successful home purchase, having a real estate agent help you with that costs you absolutely nothing right? Let me say it again. It is free to have someone help you buy a house and here's how it works. So when you're listing a house, you're going to pay a percentage of that sales price. In most cases, there's some places that have flat fees and other ways of doing it. But the traditional way of selling a house is the person who is selling the house hires a listing agent to come and sell their house. And that listing agent gets a percentage of the purchase price. It might be, well, we're not going to talk about specific percentages because uh, real estate agents, if they, anyway, we're not going to talk about specific percentages, but it, it's anywhere from five to seven or 8% is what that agent uh, is, what the typical listing agent charges to list a house. So if you have a $200,000 house, there's going to be um, five, six, seven, $8,000. They'll be available to pay that agent. Well, here's the thing. A lot of, a lot of home sellers don't realize that that agent is taking usually half of whatever he's receiving for the sale of that house. And he is offering it to other agents as a co it's called a, a, a 
co it used to be called a co-op fee because it used to be that other agents were a co-op agent who came in and worked on behalf of that listing agent to sell that house. But um, about 20 to 30 years ago, the industry shifted where we got buyer agency, right? So buyer agency means that there is an agent who represents the seller and there is an agent who represents the buyer if you're doing a traditional real estate transaction. So on the listing side, that seller is paying for the commission for that buyer's agent and or for that seller's agent. And that seller's agent is taking a portion of that commission, like I said, usually half, and they are offering it to whoever can bring the buyer who's going to buy the house. So in essence, when you go to buy a house, that other agent is paying your agent to help you find that house. So it costs you nothing. Now, we won't get into, uh, there's a lot of companies that have, they call it all sorts of different things, uh, broker service fee, broker-based commission, uh, service charge or, you know, and, and they range from $99 to I've seen them as high as $700, um, which is a transaction fee that a lot of firms charge in addition to their commission. Um, Hafner real estate does not charge any transaction fee. So when you're a buyer working with Hafner real estate, it is truly absolutely no cost to you to uh, work with us to buy that house. So that if other firms charge, I'll let you ask them why they charge that and what that covers and all that. I know from our standpoint, our buyers, it costs them absolutely nothing to work with us. And I'll tell you this, if you work with the wrong agent or you work with, or you try to buy it on your own and work with the listing agent, it can cost you a lot to uh, buy, to have buy a house on your own like that. When you have an agent who's in your corner, they're gonna help you to negotiate the best possible deal. They're going to help you figure out how to structure your offer in this seller's market that we're in that's ultra competitive. They're gonna show you how to structure your offer so you have a better chance of that offer being accepted. They're going to help you navigate uh, home inspections and appraisals and all the things that could happen that could kill your deal. So it's crazy not to have an agent help you on the purchase of your house because it doesn't cost you anything out of your pocket. They get paid by the agent who's selling the house and you have an expert who is helping you to navigate that whole process. Like I said, when I'm working with a, a first time with any buyer for that matter, my goal is to sit down with them and go through the entire process so that they know what's coming. So they don't have any crazy surprises that, uh, that cause extra stress and they're able to, have an enjoyable, buying a home should be fun, right? You should be going out and looking at homes and dreaming about what kind of house you're gonna get. It should be a fun process that's not just full of stress, not full of angst, and it's something that you should go and enjoy with the people you love to, to this, this fun thing of having this new house that you're going to live in, that when you pay your mortgage every month, it's going to be building wealth for you. That's a great thing that should be celebrated. Well, when you have an agent who's been in the business, who knows what they're doing by your side, guiding you through that process, it's going, to, it's going to make that process more enjoyable. It's going to help you have less stress. It's gonna help you be more successful. It's gonna help you have a greater overall experience. It's going to help you get a house at a better price, a better house at a better price. And it's going to help you get the house that you want. So, and all that's free. So if you're looking for a house or thinking of looking for a house, it's, in my opinion, it's crazy not to call an experienced agent to ask them to help you get things going and start the process of buying that house. If you have, if you are going to um, go on a, a sea voyage in a, in a, you know, a ship with sails, wouldn't you want a captain guiding that ship who's gone that route many times before? Well, uh, most people would. You're not going to hop in the ship and fire up the sails and start sailing it on your own. The odds are you won't make it where you're going and you're going to be in, you're going to run into all kinds of problems along the way. It's the same thing when you're buying a house, you can have an agent who's done this hundreds or thousands of times before guiding you through it. And it costs you absolutely nothing. So it's a real no brainer to do that. So that's, that's where we're at. So if you're buying a house, Having an agent to help you costs you nothing. 
Um, if you're listing a house, there's going to be a charge for that. There's a lot more expense on the real estate side with handling a listing. You've got photos and marketing and all kinds of uh, the marketing and the photos are the two most expensive things. Of course, you have to pay a commission to whoever brings the buyer for the house and a skilled agent who helps you price your house correctly and get it, get it in the right condition where it sells quickly they're going to they're going to be worth every penny that you pay them and more and here's why the typical for sale by owner NAR National Association of Realtor um, statistics say that the typical for sale by owner house sells for 80 about 84 percent of what other houses similar to it sell for so the quick math there is let's say you're doing a two hundred thousand dollar house and you're getting 16 percent less than you would if you listed with an agent. Well, let's say you listed with an agent, you paid that agent 10%, which is above what most agents are ever going to charge you. But let's say you paid that agent 10% and you got 16% more for the house. Well, you have an agent who is helping you to uh, buy that house or to sell your house more effectively. So it's not like this part-time job of having to sell it yourself. And at the end of the day, even with paying the agents their commissions, you are getting more money in your pocket from the sale of that house. So people who are always saying, look, what agents collect for, for their commission is too much. I always challenge them and say, look, you're, you're looking at the wrong number. That number that you should be looking at, what is the bottom line amount of money you're putting in your pocket at the end of that sale? And the statistics show that by hiring a competent quality agent to help you sell your house, you're going to put more money in your pocket at the end of the transaction than you would if you tried to sell it yourself. And you'll have a lot less frustration, a lot less uh, activity and hours poured into it than you would if you're selling it yourself. So hiring a good agent who knows what they're doing is totally worth it all the time, whether you are a buyer and it costs you nothing. Obviously, it's well worth it because you're going to benefit immensely from that. Or if you're listing your house, it is well worth it, even if you're paying eight, five, six, seven, eight percent to that agent to help you sell that house, because the statistics show that a that that an average agent is going to help you put more money in your pocket than if you try to do it yourself. Well, imagine how much more than an average agent, a good agent with a great track record, is going to put in your pocket when you when you go through that agent to sell your house. So that's the answer to the question for today, what is it cost to hire a realtor? It costs you nothing if you're a buyer. It costs you really costs you nothing if you're a seller because you're going to end up putting more money in your pocket in most cases. But what really costs you is not hiring a competent realtor to help you buy or sell a home. So to wrap it up, show you care, give us a share, tag somebody who can benefit from this. If we can help you, if you have questions, about buying a house, about selling a house, about investment property, about flipping property. I've flipped, uh, I've, I've been involved, I've personally owned about 200 plus houses since I've been in this business. I've been in the business almost 25 years. I am happy to sit down with you and answer whatever questions you have. If you're thinking of getting started buying a house, give us a call. I will sit down with you and I will go through the entire process with you. Costs you absolutely nothing. A good agent is worth their weight in gold and I'm, uh, I'm a little heavy at the moment, so I'm worth more than other agents because if they're worth their weight in gold, I'm a little heavier. So there you go. So thank you so much. We will see you next time and have a great day.